Well, hello everybody. It's January 16th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. You're not going to believe this, or maybe or maybe you will. Um, I believe it, but I'm just really shocked. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? It's raining. And it's been raining since I finished that hour and 45 minute video that I did where I drove. Guys, guys, I drove from... Uh, from Moonridge, so I did Sugarloaf, and then Irwin Lake, and then Baldwin Lake off, so we hit Highway 38, the Baldwin Lake, and then we went to Highway 18 on the backside, to the very top where you start driving down the mountain, to Lucerne Valley, and then we came back around, and went through Big Bear City, and then we went through Fawnskin, we went to the dam, and then we came by Snow Summit, and then we went through Moonridge, and did Bear Mountain also, we did the whole valley. We did the whole that. I mean, this was a real whole valley tour because usually we leave Irwin out and um, a lot of times Sugarloaf out also. But we did all that and it was dumping, guys. Wait till you watch that video. Just a freaking blizzard. I, like parts of it was like almost blizzard conditions. It was so awesome. But when I got home, it started raining. I was out for almost two hours just doing what I do for you guys because I love you guys. And then it started freaking pouring rain. Um, so let's see. I remember it took a good hour and 15 minutes to upload the video from my phone to the computer. I remember it said it was 420 when I... Uh, oh, look, now we're starting to get some sleep mixed in. <laughs> right? So I've been sleeping. But uh, yeah, I, I got it uploaded at about 420, but I was just staring out the window just super disappointed. For about an hour afterwards wondering what how i'm going to tell you guys this like especially those of you who are coming up today like how, how was i going to tell you guys so anyway um yeah we're getting sleet now grapple so it's there's no rain right like literally 10 seconds ago guys it was pouring rain so you guys are my good luck charm you guys really are thank you guys for that it means a lot to me this isn't going to be the longest video um, I did get probably about three and a half hours of sleep, four hours of sleep. I just couldn't, I just couldn't fall asleep, but um, it felt good. And what woke me up was the Fox producer calling me a couple times and then texting me. And uh, I'm on for tomorrow morning at 8:45 a.m. It's a three to five minute segment. Um, they're gonna do a a whole check at 8:30 where they call me or text me or like something just to see if if everything's working properly. I'm just freaking blown away and scared. So you guys were very smart. What they asked me on the phone interview is the same thing they're going to be talking to me about on on TV. Um, but she said a little more in depth, and then my stomach went oh, oh, oh. because they asked me a question like when we were talking about skiing, when, when did Bear Mountain open? Um, because I was talking about Bear Mountain and, uh, I like almost lost control of my bowels because, uh, <laughs> I didn't know exactly when, um, I, I was going to say like 1940, <laughs> even though I know that's, that's not the case, but I, I looked it up super quickly. I put her on speaker, looked it up real quick within like 10 seconds. And yeah, it's 1969. And then I think in the eighties is when, um, gold mine from 1969 turned into bear mountain. But otherwise we were, you know what? I'm going to surprise you guys about what the questions are about. That was just a random, a random question that, that my conversation with them led to. But yeah, so tomorrow morning and I mean, I hate being up that early, but you know what? We're going to do this and we're going to do it right. And hopefully maybe someday, as a matter of fact, I'm going to text the producer right now and just say, okay, she's going to do You really have actually seen my updates? Question mark. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. And I want you to know that I am so excited about this opportunity. If there's any way that you guys ever needed someone to always help you out, I promise you right now, I'm not looking for any money ever in the future to like do this. 
I would be so excited to be your guys' Big Bear correspondent. I'm willing to take certain education and do whatever is necessary to broaden my knowledge when it comes to Big Bear. And as I said, I'm willing to be like a correspondent for you guys for this area. And I promise I will make you proud. People like my personality. People like me. I'm very good to the people. The tourists are the most important people up here. And I'm not trying to get way ahead of myself, LOL. <laughs> But I just wanted you to know that I would be willing to do all of this because this is what I love to do. I'm following my passion in life and I don't work a day in my life. Oops. Because this is what I want to do. I follow my passion in life and therefore I don't work a day in my life. So if you ever needed to get some input from me, you don't even have to put me on TV. I would just be happy if you contacted me to let, just to ask me what's going on. Is there anything special that we should know so we can put on one of our segments? I feel like such a tool for asking, but I think it's a great opportunity for me, especially to get out of my comfort zone like that. All right, guys, so that was the producer of the show for Fox. I can't believe it. I'm like texting a... No, I'm just over here texting a Fox producer. No big deal. No big deal. Um, this is also, uh, let's see. We're taking some back roads, guys, because we were going to go to the village, but you saw the traffic was a nightmare. Um, <clears throat> a few years back, <clears throat> a gentleman named Derek from the KTLA newsroom. Yeah, watch where you're going, guy from the KTLA newsroom got a hold of me and maybe five or six times he had me send him 30 second clips. Not all of them ended up on TV. They cut and paste them, but um, I think three of them did. And it was cool to see my name on channel five KTLA news with the weather clip going. But the funniest thing is, and I know some of you will really appreciate this part is that he, he, he would always say, um, and just make sure you send me a 30 second clip of when you're not talking, just so we can get the straight weather and the sound of you driving and stuff like that. So I was, I was always feeling kind of bad about that because I was like, geez, really, maybe I really am that annoying. And they, so, um, but I haven't heard from him in a couple years. What I'm realizing now is that usually that was when it was really hard for the news stations to get up here. And so they were using me uh, to help them out, which I'm super happy to do. As I said, guys, I'm, I'm happy to do this for nothing if they let me be on the news or at least provide them some sort of information because uh, anything I can get out there to give you guys a better time up here, I'm, I'm, oh my gosh, I will do that and I will be proud of it. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying it, please subscribe, hit the like button. I know you hear that in every YouTube video. I only started doing this two or three videos ago out of 3,000 plus videos over eight years. I never asked you guys, ever. So I feel like I deserve it. I would really, 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 really be grateful for you guys if you did that for me. Um, thank you. I work really, really hard at this. And you guys know that I'm very consistent. I've never missed a storm in eight years. So apparently it would help my bottom line here and maybe someday I could start to make money off of YouTube and actually like live my dream. And I want everyone to be able to live their dream. Um, my dream isn't to make money off of YouTube, it's to do the weather and get paid on top of that. But no matter what, I wake up every day happy because this is what I get to do. So thank you guys, subscribe and like. Even share it with some people if you want. I mean, just tell everybody. <laughs> okay, we're on Brownie Lane. Um, the temperature has fallen all the way down to 33 degrees. It's 11.47 in the Morgan. And this is where we are. As you can see, the lake is 
to our, well, the way I'm driving, it's to our west. Yeah, so we're coming up to Summit Boulevard here. I just wanted to give you guys a short update just so you guys can see what is going down. Uh, some interesting driving up here. Interesting driving. Now we're gonna turn right because we're gonna have a hard time getting through to go across here. So we're gonna go up towards Snow Summit, but we're gonna do our typical cut through Evergreen. so so bad for these people it just transitioned to snow i guarantee you at the top of the mountain it's probably been snowing for hours but as i said it got it, 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 like right after the video was uploaded at about 4 20 it started at about four all the rain and i i couldn't believe it i was hearing what sounded like rain outside and not like the light tapping of snow and i looked at my temperature gauge and it was absolutely ridiculous 37 degrees it had climbed tremendously so um yeah and these people skiing there for most of the morning man that's got to be a bummer because these conditions would be rotten as can be rotten like johnny rotten It, it really it really does it really does hurt me because I want you guys to have a spectacular time up here always we we need you guys to come back and want to come back but I can promise you one thing the weather people are not lying to anybody okay they're doing the best they can um, and one way you can actually see that is just to see the amount of precipitation we've been getting and we've been getting a good solid amount um, as they predicted. It's just not in the form that they predicted. So, um, and it, it's not like I'm creating my own forecast, guys. I'm copying what <coughs> my most reliable sources are saying. And that's the best that I can do. And I can also look at the radar and try and guess, but because we're at the back of the mountain range, you guys, it is very difficult, very difficult to get anything accurate because these storms go through the front of the mountain range first and a lot of the a lot of the moisture is squeezed out because of all the lift involved from the storms hitting the front of the mountain range and then by the time they get to the back of the mountain range they're like misdirected and and snowed out already and we don't get that much that's why baldwin lake in this same valley hardly gets any snow even if we get all this snow over here um, not all of it, but like, you know, they hardly get anything. So it's really hard to predict what the weather's going to do in the mountains because the mountains have such an effect on the storm systems. For a few years though, I used to think, um, which was stupid of me, but I used to think that, uh, that Ben from Ben's weather up here, that he had something to do with being in the pockets of like snow summit and bear mountain because he worked there and i think he still does work there but i feel bad for even saying that back then um i i don't know if i really believed it but it was just like the same thing all these storms were just um not necessarily as bad when it comes to them saying snow and then it turns to rain constantly but it was really bad with the amount of snow that they they, that they would predict or they would say there's already a bunch of snow on the ground and then you guys would get up here and then see that it's just raining and there's just like there's hardly any snow on the ground and then one time I heard the, the justification that oh we were talking about the top of the mountain and I'm like what the tourists aren't like driving around on the top of the mountain <laughs> you know <laughs> And hardly anyone's going to get to the top of the mountain while freaking visiting. But yeah, so we are going to go drive by Bear real quickly. And as I said, this isn't going to be the longest update, but I wanted to show you guys what's going on in the Big Bear Lake area. 
And uh, yeah, super disappointed. <clears throat> but we gotta try to keep our positivity and just realize that this is definitely gonna be impacting our lake. I don't know how much though. I'm a little nervous that it's not really gonna have that much of an impact. As I've been talking about lately, guys, do you, do you remember all of our monsoonal thunderstorms? We had a really good monsoon season. There were a couple days in a row where we got torrential rainfall, which would usually have a huge effect on the lake. And not only did it not touch the lake in terms of uh, rising lake levels, but the lake was still losing water at the same rate it was before those thunderstorms. So it's just it's brutal, guys. Absolutely brutal. But anyway, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Thank you guys for being in my life. Thank you guys for sharing this experience with me. I mean, we're all on this on this journey together, you guys. This this YouTube journey, and uh, you guys are making it very special. I am very very grateful for each and every single one of you. You all kick butt. I love you guys a lot, and I'm just just beyond excited to do this for you guys. <coughs> and even more excited that all of you are in my life. You know, I know a lot of you watch all the time, but for those of you who don't, it's really important that you understand that you guys on this channel saved my life. My depression gets really, really bad, just like a lot of people out there. And, and there were a lot of times that I didn't want to be here. Not in, not in Big Bear, I'm talking here in general. And your guys' loving comments and just how you treat me. You guys have saved somebody's life and given me a purpose and given me hope. So thank you so much, you guys. I mean, there, there, there are no words to be able to thank you guys. It's beyond, beyond anything crazy. You guys are truly amazing. So here we go. I'm going to try and get a picture here. Or a, a, a video here real quickly. I mean, it looks like a lot of snow, doesn't it? With these huge piles of snow. I wonder if they do that to make us, to make the people think that there's more snow. Because they... Hey! Hey! What's going on, man? What's up, man? I'm just... No, what? what's... No, what's up, man? <laughs> what's, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Nothing much, man. You got me in the shit show. What's up, camera? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is my good friend, Sean. Uh, yeah, Sean. This is my good friend, Sean. He works here at Bear Mountain. He is the man. Yep, you come see me. I always take care of you. Dude, my channel's growing like crazy, dude. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. You're, you're going to be famous like you should oh, yeah. be, Sean. I'm going to hit you up. You know for what. I'm going to hit you up. All right. You up. All right, man. All right, Sean. Later. That's hilarious. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him the position though, but oh well, I, I keep on trying. I keep on trying, he deserves it. He deserves it. So I know one of the managers who's actually a, um, who runs the like head of operations when it comes to um, snowboard instructors at, at Bear. And I told Sean months ago, and, and you know, God bless him. He's been staying on my case about it because I told him I would do my very best. And I have, I've contacted Mike and, um, told him that I have a good buddy and I would never refer anybody if I thought that they weren't going to do a great job. But, uh, you know, he hasn't gone back to me. I've left him like three freaking messages. I can't believe he said what he said, though. I can't believe it. On video. Like, uh, he was someone I used to uh, partake with the green with. And so, yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. But anyway, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. But I'm glad you guys got to meet Sean. I didn't mean to go off topic there. But yeah, that was super cool. And, uh, anyway. What a good dude. He used to work at Big Bear Smoke and Vape, guys. That's the shop that I tell you guys about all the time. The owner, Sahil, 
really good guy really really good guy but yeah he's obviously working at the mountain and since he couldn't get that snowboarding job he wanted to get something at the mountain and then try to transfer over so keep your fingers crossed for him guys but I can't believe he said the the weed thing on freaking TV or on freaking camera it's hilarious I'm like looking at him like dude don't say that don't say that but yeah hopefully you guys are really enjoying your day today it is a holiday happy MLK day to everybody hope you guys are all staying safe and uh, <clears throat> remembering that you know judging a person on the content of their character and not the color of their skin is is really the most important thing you got to be so stupid to not like certain people because of how they look like that's that is so hurtful and that doesn't do any good like it's i i've i've never understood it but anyway hope everyone is staying safe today coming back to the roundabouts this one's kind of not so roundabout but it's about to be round and uh, let's see here oh we got a response from the producer of when I was asking about you know maybe possibly I could be the full-time correspondent if it if they need it so she said, oh no, we truly appreciate this. We do have occurring people come back and update us. So you never know. Well, I promise you, I would never ever bug you when I don't have a segment coming up and I would never try to promote myself like that. It just seems like it would be so cool because as a kid, I had an acting contract in Hollywood with one of Hollywood's biggest child uh, child star managers. Her name is Linda Goodfriend. And uh, I've just always liked being on TV. And yeah, just being on TV. And I would never let you down, by the way. So once again, and I won't bug you again today, I'm super, super thankful for this opportunity. I will be ready for you guys tomorrow morning at 8.30 for sure. Tonight, I'm gonna do my best to get a good night's sleep. Thankfully, there's no storm after tonight. And I can do my aftermath video after the interview. I'm gonna send her a meme, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna take a little cut into Big Bear City and then come back around. Actually, we're not gonna go into, all the way into Big Bear City. I was just gonna keep it short and cute for this video, even though this isn't short and cute. But that's so cool. I love it when you guys get get to meet some of my friends up here. All right, here's Big Bear Boulevard. We are on Moon Ridge Way, not Moon Ridge Road. Moon Ridge Way is just a little 100-yard stretch that kind of lets you take a little shortcut off of Big Bear Boulevard to get onto Moon Ridge Road. It's pretty darn cool. When I first moved here, I always missed it coming from the other direction to turn left on there. I would always pass it. All right, guys. You guys can see we're getting some blue skies up above. Um, temperature's still 33. And yeah, we'll probably be doing another two videos today. I'm not sure, but I just wanted you guys to get updated really quickly and see what's going on. <clears throat> but again, thank you guys for everything. Um, 
I don't know what I would do without you guys. You guys have been the best gift I've ever received in my entire life, ever. You guys, you guys really do care about me, and my gratitude is off the charts for you guys. Thank you for all the love, constantly. I'll never be able to thank you guys enough. I will never be able to thank you guys enough. You guys make my heart so warm. You guys make me feel so good. And uh, for those of you who have subscribed, thank you. You know, hit the like button. Thank you. I know it's a pain in the butt. As I tell you guys all the time, I watch certain YouTube channels all the time and I'm not even s subscribed to them. So why should anyone subscribe to me? Um, but it would really help me out, you guys. And who knows, maybe eventually financially, which would be awesome. Like I, I get to live what I love to do every day. And so no matter what, I'm going to be happy. But for some icing on that cake, that'd be nice to be able to pay my bills with this YouTube channel. Like I never imagined that would, that could even be a possibility. It probably is still not a possibility, but you guys hold that power. I'll never continue. I'll never stop doing what I'm doing for you guys, but you guys ultimately hold that power over me. And, 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 and that would be a beautiful gift for me guys. So thank you guys. We're almost done with this video. I love this field when it's covered in snow like that. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Bianca. I really hope I make you proud. That's the Fox producer. They said, oh, amazing, so great. We are so excited to have you. And I guess she watches the channel, which is just crazy. Obviously, she probably to find out if I was going to be good enough or kind of what they were looking for. Um, because when I was telling her earlier today how nervous I am, she was saying, uh, you do such a good job on your channel. Just be you and you'll do great. So that made me feel really good. That's, that's the same beautiful encouragement you guys gave me. So anyway, enough about me, enough about me. I hope every single one of you is staying healthy out there amidst this flu season and what's going on. Um, I, I really care about you guys so much. I really love you guys so much. Never hesitate to contact me, guys. If there's anything I can do, just any questions you guys have, I take... I'll take as much time out of the day as necessary to make sure that I respond to every single comment. And I, I am worried though, as this channel grows, what do I do? Like, I know it, it'll never be at like 50,000 subscribers or anything like that, or some, some godly number like that. But if it came to a point where like literally it would take me longer than 24 hours to read the comments just from one freaking video or to read and respond to all of them in the, the personal way that I do. Do you guys have any suggestions for me? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm about to end this video. Um, yeah, real quick, I'll show you guys what we got going on for the remainder of the storm though on my weather channel app. Let's take a look here. There's no one behind us so we can kind of slow a little bit make sure that I show you guys properly okay so first of all we'll take a look at the snowfall rate for the next few hours and then we're gonna click on the radar and hit play we're gonna zoom that in real quickly okay guys all right Sorry about the bumpiness. I'm doing the best I can to hold this steady for you guys. And then now we're gonna check out what it says under the 10 day for the hourly. Okay, so today, wow, it jumped up to three to five inches today. Wow, it just said one to three an hour ago. 
and at nighttime we have one to three inches of snow possible and then look at thursday that popped up last night that we're going to get a chance for snow thursday but it's going to be less than an inch of snow look yep see it still says less than an inch and then there is nothing on the radar for a long time to come folks anywho thank you for cruising hope you guys get a sense of what's going on in town we did get about five inches of snow at my house and this rain smashed a lot of it um take care of you guys i know i'm kind of all over the place right now i'm just really nervous about tomorrow um thank you guys again for the support i can't wait to post the link i'm gonna do a youtube short and post the link for you guys and uh Wish me luck, folks. We'll be doing another video before that, but wish me luck. I love you guys with all my heart, and I'm always here for you, just like you're here for me. Thanks, guys. Take care. So, January 16th, 2023.